Hey guys, it's me, Will Patterson. Welcome back to another video. In this video, it's brought to you by FreshBooks, I'm going to be checking out your logos, your design work on our subreddit, the top most upvoted. Let's do it. The first one has got 41 upvotes. Here's a logo design and animation I did from my new animation studio. Whisker Studio is a design, animation, and illustration studio based in Egypt. Cool. I love the graffiti style of work here. The, it reminds me of Cadbury's though, because of the purple. That's the only thing. The actual psychology of the color, I'm not sure if it's in the the creative space thing is more of the royalty you know the upper end but i like the way that you've gone ahead and used purple here with the yellow it gives it that sort of casual feel i don't know if that makes sense we've got some animations here <laughs> that's a cool icon oh that's really cool yeah it's again it's like the graffiti art of logo design i like it it's rough and ready but it works it's simple and works a lot of the time when designing logos i think especially if you fall in the trap like i do a lot of the time you want to create these nice clean corporate designs and you know back in the day i used to create not so clean you know more of the vintage style of logo and going back to that sometimes it's difficult to do because you know you want to create something that's clean that works that corporate companies like but it doesn't feel natural and what i like about this design here is that it feels very natural yeah even the type is all composed differently i like it you can see the typography is composed to the right there it's very different i like the art style it's very unique very identifiable you can create a lot of brand assets out of this and i like that Dude, this is unreal uh, again everyone loves it well done i really like that one go and check them out the next one 39 upvotes is a visual design for a non-traditional digital marketing company that focuses on growth hacking i wanted the logo to be simple legible and scalable the color scheme is corporate blue accompanied by a green to give it a creative touch okay the problem that i have with this design is that yeah it does have that marketing feel and you can tell because it's very clean the typeface specifically pointing upwards everything's sort of an arrow pointing up so growing up it reminds me of a nutritional company you know one of those supplemental brands and that's because you've used the color green but not only that the word growth when you add that with green it kind of reminds you of something that you would buy in a garden center However, if you offset that with the actual clean typeface with that strange G going on there with the arrow going up, then it kind of makes sense. I, I like that. Specifically, I really like what you do with the G. I don't think you need this sort of sidebar here. You see how it comes down. It could just be circular and break off because it kind of feels like the arrow is plateauing and then going up. I do like the concept there though. The icon itself, really nice. I like it. It might have pixel art because you've got these squares that are knocked out everywhere. Something that I would look to fix though, personally, is this part of the G, the descender. So this part here should not be touching this at all there. Cut that off. Cut it so it's a bit lower. Maybe even like increase this down here to come up. I know what you're trying to do and it's very difficult. And I'm not too sure whether my comments there would actually help, but yeah, you've done a great job. I love the background of it and everything. It just looks good, like as an overall brand. There's a lot of patterns and um, assets, which is what we look for in brand identity is how do you use the art style that you've got, which is this sort of icon here. How do you use that across your brand? You can see here perfectly how you've done it. You've got like a pattern on the right. You've got the colors on the pins works really well again i think the colors of it remind me too much of like a, a nutritional company or something that would be used for i don't know something that would be used for growing something like plants or something because it's green and it automatically the psychology of that brings me as just a consumer here to something that's growth you know like natural growth the next one 35 upvotes bwibba that's a strange name bwibba is a similar platform like Twitter. So instantly, if I'm just looking at this design for face value, it seems like a baby company. <laughs> By that, that's a really bad description, I'll be honest. It seems like a company that sells toddler products, almost because you've used this kind of blur pull that's more sky blue blur pull. You've chosen round edges or round joints on the stroke here. And it's got a leaf pattern, which reminds me of some new growth. Kind of like the last logo. So it reminds me of like, you know, Pampers or something, like a really clean version of Pampers. So you've got this butterfly here, I guess. 
and then you've halved it. I mean, this kind of looks like one of those mindfulness apps that you get because it's, it feels very calm. It doesn't feel like social media. There's no real sense of connection. When you talk about social media, you want that connection in there. And obviously Twitter's got the Twitter bird, which is like the mascot because it's tweeting, you know, it's very visual. So let's have a look. So it might be just me, but that blue is very close to the Discord blurple. It is. The problem that you've got here is the naming as well. Bwibber is a weird name. It's, it's literally just changing the T in Twitter to B. Flutter would be better so there's a butterfly in there maybe change the colors around but that blurple that you've got is way too pastel and it makes you think of like a baby company you know pampers things like that it's what i would call in the design process like as inappropriate uh, because it doesn't reflect anything to do with the company in the sort of psychology of color maybe if you chose red or you know the facebook blue the twitter blue which are very similar in themselves have you noticed before i go to the next one i just want to thank the sponsor of this video FreshBooks. There's a lot to love about being your own boss, but trying to figure out your financials on your own or becoming an overnight accountant isn't one of those things. Luckily, there's FreshBooks, the all-in-one easy-to-use accounting solution that's built for business owners like you. FreshBooks is an easy-to-use accounting and invoicing software that makes it simple to send invoices and receive payments. Plus, it keeps your income and expenses organized so you won't be begging your accountant for help the day before your taxes are due. It has everything you need to manage your books like invoicing expense and time tracking automated payments and reports that tell you just how healthy your business is and right now there's a brand new offer just for subscribers of the channel click the link in the description below to get a massive 90 percent off fresh book subscription for four months 90 percent off for four months is pretty good check them out in the description below thanks for sponsoring this next one is pretty nice i quite like this one 33 upvotes should have more so what i like about this although it's not clean and the circles aren't all there i really like the way that you've gone ahead and used visual aids from pottery in the icon so you've got the letter s and then pot ceramic item pottery wheel the concept so the, yeah it's a letter s i get that but what's it for the name doesn't have an s so it doesn't make sense it would be better if it was a p so you could maybe flip that around to make it a p maybe i love the color palette it got going on here it's very relaxed it's the, these natural pastel colors remind you of clay it's the same sort of substance you know the the same color and i like that but again i just don't get the name because you've got this amazing looking design, you know, here with the com composition, you know, you've got an S in the middle that makes no sense with pottery. But I love everything else that you've created here, like all the mock-ups and stuff. It feels really nice. The imagery is super important on brand identity. This sort of thing that you would choose to put into a presentation is hella important, as people would say, because it's what bridges that gap between the fantasy of what you've created and the reality of what's going to be printed for that client or you. So although I love the way that you've presented this and you've done a great job, I think the letter S has confused me slightly and it would definitely confuse your audience. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe. We upload twice a week. Always one of those is going to be a Reddit where I critique your work. If you've got any ideas, link them below or just comment below and let me know your thoughts and watch this video right here so you can learn something else.